Hey there. Thank you for watching this clip on finding specific trig values given to clues. I got a lot asked a lot of, uh, by students who, uh, with this type of problems. There are three parts you need to understand how to solve this problem. Part one is this. I'm drawing a unit circle over here to my best ability. It's not a terribly good circle, but hopefully that will suffice for now. On our circle, terminating arm here has a point, x and y. Unit circle says radius is 1. Okay, using the definition, then this r for 1 going counterclockwise, its y value for this point is equivalent to sine of r for 1, where the x is equivalent to cosine of r for 1. Okay, it's opposite of rigid adjacent and also the hypotenuse. Okay, now the problem comes in here. This y value, which is the sine alpha 1, if you extend it over all the way here, there is a twin or a cousin that happens to be exactly the same value, but the angle is not the same. Let's call this alpha 2. This big alpha 2 has identical y value, which is to say that sine of alpha 2 is equal to sine of alpha 1. Let's put x over there. x is actually the opposite. That's not the problem here. But this particular gra graph I'm drawing here, there are two values for the same y. So the problem comes down to which one, which cousin did what. Okay, so years ago, I had a two students who were cousins, or two, actually not cousins, twins. Boy, they gave me a lot of headache because I could never figure out which twin is doing what. Here's the same similar problem. Which one is the one giving you the value for sine alpha? Is it alpha 1 or alpha 2? Well, how do we solve this problem? That's why we have two clues. Okay, so that's the first part you need to understand. There's duplic duplicate angles that give you the same sine value. Okay, second thing is this. If you take a look at this little triangle over here, let's draw it on the side here. It's literally the same triangle flipped around on this side. This is how we're going to solve the clue. Just much like the twin students I had. In the end, I had to physically figure something on their facial st structure, the way they smile, that's different. Okay, so this is our alpha 1. Those two triangles are actually congruent, which means this is alpha 1. And from here, this is in quadrant 1. In quadrant 2, my big alpha 2, the twin, is equal to 180 minus alpha 1. Okay, this is our solution, how we're going to go figure out, is it R for 1, the acute angle in quadrant 1, or is R for 2, the obtruse one that's in quadrant 2. Okay. Now, next block is, how do you figure out which quadrant? Well, this is where the second piece of information you need. Remember earlier we said sine of a theta is corresponding to the y value, okay, and cosine of theta corresponding to the x value. Looking at the chart over here, you can see sine theta is bigger than 0. Sine theta is also bigger than 0 here, quadrant 1 and 2. Okay. Quadrant here, cosine is bigger than 0 because it's x. Cosine of theta is bigger than 0 here in quadrant 4. Okay. Now our clue says sine of theta is 3 over 5, which is bigger than 0. Cosine theta is less than 0. Let's see where cosine theta is less than 0. Cosine theta is less than 0. Aha. There's only one quadrant that satisfies both clues, where sine is bigger than 0 and cosine is negative. So our cousin, our twin, the troublemaker, is in quadrant 2. Okay. Having had this piece of information, we're ready to figure out how to solve this particular problem. 
sine theta is equal to 3 over 5. Okay, cosine theta is less than 0. Using this clue, we're in quadrant 2. Okay, in quadrant 2, tangent of theta got to be less than 0. Uh, cosine theta less than 0, so 1 over cosine theta, which is equal to secant theta, is also less than 0. Okay. So basically what we're doing here is determine what the sine is. As far as the value, we're going to use our reference angle, the acute uh, reference angle. So let's take sine theta first. We know it's a negative value. Let's see what the value is. I'm going to draw a little triangle over here. You're know, given that, we're going to actually call this alpha because this is the acute angle. It's not really the theta. Okay, so this is our acute uh, other twin. Alpha 1 here is sine is 3 over 5. So here, using Pythagorean theorem, you know this is 4. So tangent theta or tangent alpha, you're going to put it in here. Because alpha 1 and theta 1 are related. This is my alpha 2, the cousin, the troublesome cousin. Okay. This negative is coming from, we know it's in quadrant 2, by analysis we did over here. Okay. Tangent for alpha 1, it's easy, 3 over 4. So in order to find a tangent value for this cousin, we needed two pieces. We need to know if it's positive or negative. Okay. For our case, it's negative because it's in quadrant 2. We need to know what the value is. So this alone doesn't tell you if it's positive or negative, you have to find that piece of information. And this here only tells you the value. Let's do the same thing for secant. Secant positive or negative? It's going to be negative because in, it's in quadrant 2. And we know it's 1 over cosine. Cosine is 4 over 5, so 1 over that is 5 over 4. Okay, so that's the answer is tangent theta for this particular problem equal to minus 3 over 4, and secant theta is equal to minus 5 over 4. All right, so that's how we solve this type of problem. Please comment on YouTube and let me know if it helped you. Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel. I'm here to make math fun and easy. Till next time, have a confident day.